Hi everyone, this is Travis Quadlander here at Rush Truck Center's Dallas Peterbilt, and today we're looking at a beautiful, legendary blue with blue painted frame, 2021 Peterbilt 389 with 78 inch sleeper and a lot of custom features. This is uh, the sister truck to the uh, legendary gray with maroon frame, if you've already seen that truck. The only thing that we changed on this truck is we did the uh, legendary blue paint with the blue painted frame. And uh, we did the uh, eight inch exhaust again on this one, but we did the uh, turned out donkey ears or the 45 degree bend, however you'd like to call that. Uh, if you've seen that other video, then you know that these are really nice custom trucks. Um, I like to call these kind of like the owner operator dream. Uh, all the custom work we did in-house at our body shop. So if you want to spec out a truck or see a truck that you like that we have available in inventory, we can do all that custom work on the truck right here in our body shop or in our rig up shop. Again, this one is called Legendary Blue with a blue painted frame. I'm sorry, it's a uh, midday here in the uh, hot Texas sun. So it's really not able to uh, highlight just how awesome this legendary paint is, but I will get some angles that really highlight that. Starting up front, we're gonna talk about some of the custom features. We've got a 20 inch squared in custom bumper, no tow hooks, no uh, flip up for your plates or no recess. Um, we have the option for all those. A lot of guys like the 22 inch. Um, I kind of like the 20 because it gives you the look with a little bit less risk of damaging it whenever you go over the bumps. If you are worried about that, we can add a bumper lift kit. There's a look at all that flake and the uh, legendary paint. That legendary paint alone is a $2,500 option from the factory. Up top, again, we've got the eight inch true dual exhaust on this, this is not a uh, horizontal grass burner exhaust with dummy pipes. This is a true eight inch dual exhaust. Again, this has the uh, donkey ears as we like to call them on here. We added two extra marker or clearance lights, the uh, bullet style. Uh, came from the factory with five. We added the two here and we switched those to all Phoenix Designs clear lens watermelon lenses. You've got the 14-inch uh, blind mount drop visor. Of course, we'll clean off that bird dookie before you take delivery of it. With the uh, matching window chops for the cab, we do have the option to add the matching window chops for the sleeper as well. Uh, if you prefer a different visor or something like that, we can swap that out. That's not an issue. Of course, you've got a full lights package on the truck. Uh, again, by Phoenix Designs. This is the... Uh, clear oval lens style. Uh, we did do the chrome cab leg, but we did not do lights on the cab leg. If you prefer to swap that out for lights, I know most guys like to do that. Uh, we can do that as well. Um, I shouldn't say guys, most Tarihers, guys and gals like to do the lighted cab leg. Me personally, I kind of like this cleaner uh, chrome cab leg without the lights. Again, that's personal preference. Uh, the reason why I like that is that way you just have The reason why I like that is you just have one row of lights going down the cab and sleeper and not another horizontal one. I'm sorry, vertical one going right there on the cab leg. But again, that's personal preference. Most drivers do prefer to have the lighted cab leg and we'd be happy to swap that out for you. Um, 150 gallon tank on the passenger side, 110 gallons on the driver's side. Pretty sure we have locking fuel caps on there we do. It's a very cheap option at the factory. I think it's only like $24 or $28, but it's very, a lot more than that to add them if you're going to do the genuine Peterbilt ones after the fact. Additional toolboxes on both sides with deck plate access. These are the 27 inch tube built, or sorry, tube style Hodge built, or if you're saying it correctly, Hogue built premium stainless steel quarter fenders. We've got uh, all aluminum wheels, all disc brakes on this truck with the uh, Peterbilt ovals. Up front, we've got the uh, Michelin XZE2s. 
And in the rear, we've got the Bridgestone M M713s. So look at your blue painted frame. We did the uh, backup and tail lights mounted outside of the frame. So if you want to add a T-bar and don't want to have any lights in the middle that are on uh, the frame, you can remove that very easily. Of course, you've got your Peterbilt Premium stainless steel mud flap hangers, spring loaded. There's a look at your Holland FW35 fifth wheel plate. You've heard me say that before. That is the most popular fifth wheel plate in the industry. Low ear leaf rear suspension. Uh, this truck does have the tape relief front suspension. If you per prefer the uh, air ride front suspension, we do have a couple trucks available with the air ride front suspension. Six load lights on the back. We've got your uh, radio and your CV antenna mounted to the back of the sleeper. Eight inch sleeper extenders. If you prefer the uh, really small sleeper extenders, what the factory actually call uh, specs as no sleeper extenders, even though they're just really small ones. We do have uh, some trucks available with those very, very small sleeper extenders as well. Stainless steel cover on the death tank. I think we should put a uh, stainless steel cap on that death cap. Um, so if you do buy this truck, let's make sure we get that done before you pick it up. There's a look at your true Dynaflex dual exhaust. You can see the white pipe right there and your Kisling battery disconnect switch. On uh, those battery disconnect switch, it's, switches, it's much better to mount it right here. I've seen some where they'll be mounted right here. And as you can see, when you've got your cab leg, panel, cowl, whatever you want to call it, it makes it really difficult to get to that battery disconnect switch. Inside, we've got it specced out with a platinum interior, carpet on the floors, and we do have the uh, Peterbilt all season rubber floor mats. If you wanna switch this out to a rubber floor, wood floor, something like that, we can do that here as well. There's a look at your uh, Sears Atlas ultra leather seats. Um, these are, in my opinion, the most comfortable seats from the factory. Me personally, I still kinda lean towards the uh, Peterbilt um, Premium Ultra Ride with the leather seats a little bit more, but I'm a, not a really big guy, so uh, they kind of just fit me better, and that leather holds up over time. This leather is really, really soft on the uh, Sears Atlas Ultra Leather, um, so I will see that over time it does wear a little bit more, but if you're a bigger guy, uh, it is the way to go in my opinion. And like I said in my previous video, the more time I spend in these seats, the more and more I like them even more. So maybe I'm swaying my opinion a little bit on the ultra ride seats. Rosewood dash. Leather wrapped steering wheel. There's a look at what it looks like on the inside with those uh, cab window chops. You've heard me say before that one of the few things that I've seen different for 2021 is your buttons right here on the door. Uh, other than that, I really can't tell much different. As the saying goes in Texas, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? This truck has 44 miles on the ticker, so you will be the first person to sneeze in it. CD radio mounted right here in the headliner. When you do that from the factory, you do get this nice housing on it. If you don't do it from the factory, your bracket will show, but we can order that housing for you. Um, so if you do want to do that, we can do that. Not a problem. This one is specced out with uh, all chrome gauges as well as the navigation system. Um, I love the way all gauges look, but I do also like the versatility that the navigation system gives you. Um, it's a lot better than previous generations. And of course, the best view you can have in the industry, only accentuated by that 14 inch drop visor. But uh, put that Peterbilt wing on the horizon and keep on trucking. Uh, there's a look at your uh, Eaton Fuller 18 speed manual transmission. Take a look in the back. This is a single bunk premium mattress with the extra storage cabinets. Bridge is already installed from the factory. This does also have the workstation in there for you.
been getting some requests for us to start up the truck on these videos, so I'll go ahead and do that. Make sure we're in neutral. If you're used to a pre-emissions truck, like an old Cat or an old Detroit engine, these new X15 engines, they're a lot smoother, a lot quieter. Uh, it's not gonna make the noise going up the hill that those old Pete's will, like an old 379. Um, some might think it's not as cool, but I will say that that smoother, quieter engine, uh, it does help prevent driver fatigue over time. Um, my personal opinion, but man, it's hard to beat the sound of an old cat engine. I will say that. Get a little closer so you can hear the engine. Also see that beautiful legendary blue paint. Let's take a look underneath the hood. As you've heard me say before, Peterbilt is the only manufacturer with an all aluminum hood. Makes it very easy for me to open and close the hood one handed. There's a look at your Cummins X15. That is a 565 horsepower engine, 1850 pound feet of torque, again paired to an Eaton Fuller 18 speed manual transmission. We do have the DAPCO 382 fuel water separator, which is an upgrade. Again, all over the wheels, all disc brakes. Let's see. Sun's just now peeking out a little bit more. Hoping you can see that flake and the legendary paint a little bit better right there. There you have it. Let's go ahead and close that hood up a little better. That is our legendary blue 2021 Peterbilt 389 Custom. So I couldn't get the lighting a little bit better for this truck. Give me a call. My name is Travis Quadvander. I'm here at Rush Truck Center's Dallas Peterbilt. My cell is 817-504-7220. Hablo Espanol. Puerto Yamame a 817 5047220 Or come see us at Rush Truck Center's Dallas Peterbilt right here in Irving, Texas, off of Loop 12 in Union Bauer. Want to thank you all, all you truckers, again, for keeping our country running when we need you the most. Please stay safe out there, and I hope to hear from you soon.